So my day starts out like this, a little drive down a back windy mountain road here in Pensatucky. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're driving up the mountain right now. We're gonna go up to the pole yard here where I have my truck parked. And uh, we're gonna get our day started, and head over to Pottsville and pick up our three stop load today, which is primarily, well, technically it's on the outskirts of uh, New York City. So we got a, uh, what is it, like a, oh, what is it, uh, Sleepy Hollow, technically, like right outside Sleepy Hollow, New York. We got a Port Chester, New York, and then we got a Mountain Vernon, which is like Yonkers, New York. So. We're just gonna uh, drive up the pole yard and grab the truck, and uh, yeah, we're gonna do our free trip and get going. All right. I don't know how much you can see, it's pretty dark up here. But, here she be. Pull right in here and park. Parking spot. And yeah, I'm gonna get out and fire her up. Oh. Yeah, I know my keys are in there. I actually brought the trailer home because I didn't feel like driving the extra 35 minutes to the pole yard. We'll start her up, get the heat on and everything. And uh, walk around do our pre-trip let her warm up while we do that all right here we go uh, oh okay prime yeah you park right there uh, prime's gonna get a rude awakening uh, around five o'clock in the morning when the uh, utility company comes in <laughs> down that little dirt gravel road there where Pine parked, but okay. Anywho, uh, here we are. Uh, Glorious Tyson, this giant building to our right. We're going to uh, pull up here. Luckily, there's nobody in front of us because I need to get in and out because I'm running a little bit behind right now. I'm technically going to actually be late for my first appointment. Why, you might ask? Well, I plan on working through the weekend, so uh, conveniently, I don't know, out of nowhere, my uh, load Tuesday, uh, after I delivered it and everything, they gave me the next load for Thursday, Thursday morning. So, I basically had a whole 34-hour reset in between that. The problem is, when I had to start, I had about a 20-minute... Um, period of time between I started and needed to leave the pole yard over there and get over here and uh, finishing my 34 hour break. So I made the ultimate decision to just wait the 20 minutes out and finish my 34 hour break. That way I have plenty of hours to run for the rest of the week. And uh, yeah, so that's what we just did. We basically met ourselves late on purpose. So I wanna run over to the guard shack over here check in because I have a trailer still on me and uh, yeah let's get this thing dropped off and get our load and get out of here this morning it is freaking cold and windy again another day of fighting the wind all right so we are going to go to spot 221 we're going to drop this empty, and then we're coming right back right here to get the, the load of one. It's yard spot 15. Oh, jeez. Is he going to be able to make it out? Oh, he's far enough. He, or he can make it out of there. Let's not blind the guy backing up when he comes out here. All right, well, we got, here we go again. Tonight, we are all packed in here again like sardines. Even got guys to the left of me. 
All right, we're looking for spot 251, which I believe it's over here to the left. All right, um, I don't think 251 is built. Uh, I don't, I don't know what the heck she was talking about. But uh, let's turn back around because over here is 300. So unless they started coming back up the other way, 251. I don't, I don't know because technically 251 should be out there in the middle of the construction area where they're doing construction. So uh, I'm all discombobulated all right. right now. Well, since there's no 251 because, well, the lines aren't painted or whatever. I'm just going to put this over here at, uh, let's see, what is this? It's going to be two, 223, because there is no 251. Or if there is, there ain't nothing painted on the ground, or it's over here in the freaking uh, construction area to my right but that ain't completed yet. All right, we just scaled. And uh, we're getting out of here with the loaded trailer. I just wanted to get out of here real quick. I didn't want to film anything because by the time I was pulling out the spot, KLM and uh, another Tyson driver were getting fixing to leave. And I wanted to get the hell out of here before I got behind them because the KLM drivers usually, usually they do the ELD crawl to make up for their, uh, I guess their pre-trip or some crap. And uh, well, Tyson's just going to sit behind them, so I really didn't feel like taking 15 minutes to drive out of here. Because like I said before, technically I'm going to be probably about 30 minutes late to my appointment, which is uh, 6 a.m. But to be honest, <laughs> every restaurant depot, because that's where I'm delivered to, every restaurant depot I've ever been to, <laughs> they don't start anyway till 7, 7.30, so... Usually they got their bread vendors and whatnot, their regulars in there, or their own trucks. And they don't touch you for about a good hour. So, as far as I'm concerned, I'm gonna get there when I get there, like I said. I'm not gonna waste 20 minutes for a 34 hour break that can make the rest of my week. Oh, so, let's get going on down the road and fight this wind the whole time is what we're going to be doing. It's like freaking 20 degrees with a 30, 40 mile an hour wind again tonight. Or well, I should say this morning. All right, we're over here now at Balvet, New York. I just uh, went into the restaurant depot over here and uh, dropped the paperwork off. I'm about, just about an hour and a half late. I was going to be about an hour late and then I don't know what happened to the uh, Tappan Seas Bridge over here. Um, well, the, the Cuomo Bridge, I guess it really is now. Uh, but it just started backing up, uh, like at least a good like five or six miles, maybe more before the bridge. I don't know how a bridge with like six lanes backs up with a, you know, easy pass, no toll boost or anything, but it, but it backs up. And uh, so I'm a little late, just a little bit late. So I was sitting here, well, you just saw the guy pull out. I was sitting here with uh, about four trucks here, but uh, it looks like looks like the one just left. So hopefully I'll be in and out of here. My next appointment, uh, which is down the road at another restaurant depot, which is uh, Port Chester. Yeah, Port Chester. Um, that appointment isn't until 1130, so as long as I don't sit here for like three or four hours, I should be all right, which I'm sure they'll be able to get me in and out. This this restaurant depot here is pretty pretty good. They they actually like work, all right? And their back room is pretty organized too, so. Uh, so I probably should be no problems here. So we'll see where, the, where this goes, I guess. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna take a nap because I was up at about 1.30 this morning and uh, I didn't get much sleep last night. Uh, you know, family stuff. Went out, uh, dropped the car off at the dealership. Went out for dinner, got home. Let's see, I didn't get to bed about eight o'clock and then you're getting up at like 1.30. Um, 
145, something like that. It's just, you know, typical uh, trucker's life, especially when you're doing like local. I've been all week, I've been pretty much primarily local. So, um, <laughs> you know, I end up doing a 2200 mile week last week, and this week I'll be lucky if I do a thousand miles, it looks like, unless, unless they're going to send me somewhere pretty far away uh, after this load. I don't know. I'm pretty much going to probably work through this weekend. It seems like whatever happened here a couple months ago or a year or so ago, uh, once I got off that schedule of delivering to uh, the Walmart down there in, uh, where the heck is that? I'm trying to think of the Walmart. Um, I want to say it's... It's North Carolina. Jeez, I can't know. I don't know why. It's off, off the top of my head. I can't think of it. I probably said the damn name of the town a hundred times, too. Um, yeah, I can't think of it. But anyway, their Walmart run down there in North Carolina, I was doing, like, that was my weekly gig. Just run up and down 81 and everything. And that's, you know, that's gone. So now I'm just... It almost feels like I'm on an extra board. Like I said, uh, last week I went out to Indiana... And uh, now I'm barely, like I said, barely going to do a thousand miles probably this week. Uh, unless, like I said, they decide to dispatch me somewhere far. Which they probably will over the weekend. That's usually what ends up happening. Um, somehow I got stuck working the weekend, I don't know, loads, I guess. I, most likely, most of the Tyson drivers, they started giving them the weekends off or something to entice more drivers to to come on or whatnot and now they just gave it you know they primarily their contractors are forced to run over the weekend that's the only thing i, I can think of um other than that i know there's a lot of other crl guys that don't want to run over the weekend and most of them are down down towards uh, at least the ones i've talked to have all been down towards the washington dc baltimore area so they probably stay as far away as possible of going you know into new york city and new york and all this crap like i am so i'm stuck pretty much stuck just doing northeast runs um but these have all been multi-stop loads uh i've gotten detention on all the loads uh the the last one was uh new york metro i think uh, my opinion yonkers is new york metro uh hell newark is new york metro as far as i'm concerned but we'll see. We'll see if they decide to pay me the extra 250 bucks um, on that. I don't know if they are going to or not. But I don't know. I'm just. I'm talking now. I'm tired. So I'll take a nap and uh, we'll see. We'll see where the hell I am in like three or four hours. So. So about three hours later, we are back to the door. I am uh, basically going to be late for every appointment today. So. I'm hoping. The next stop I go to, uh, what is it, Port Chester? I'm hoping they get me unloaded real quick uh, because my third stop, the appointment time is 1.30, and that is in Mount Vernon, just like basically Yonkers, New York. And uh, like usually around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon is when Restaurant Depot stops taking, uh, you know, receiving so if that happens i really don't feel like you know turning this into a two-day trip because i'm not going to get paid for it uh, so if it does and i get a layover i mean i could probably put in for a layover i mean probably they'll probably pay it to be honest with you but uh technically it don't deserve a layover because i was late an hour so um that's my fault just uh well, basically, being, being 20 minutes uh, late to the time I had to leave today to make my 34-hour break caused me to continuously be 20 minutes late behind everything else, which then eventually, with traffic and stuff, um, added up to like an hour and, hour and 30 minutes. Uh, so, <laughs> it is what it is. I'm not going to sweat it. Like I said, uh, most likely I probably would be in the same boat even if I was here at 6 o'clock because usually Restaurant Depot does not 
take deliveries until like seven o'clock. Like they'll have their regular vendors here or their, their trucks in the door here unloading them. So you'll have everybody else here showing up early and piling up and everything. And, uh, you know, usually don't matter. Usually I would, I'd probably been screwed either way. So also, uh, today I'm probably not going to do any outside filming because last time when it was really windy, I did some outside filming with my uh, DJI, what was it, my DJI mic and everything, and the wind blew down the uh, tripod and smashed uh, smashed some stuff. So we're trying not to break anything else. No cameras, no camera lenses, no phones. And uh, yeah, that's, that's basically the way today's going. But I have to make some content here because I haven't put a video out, I don't know, probably for a couple days now. Plus, uh, the content I had before, I only recorded about half the trip from the last video because, well, I got some personal things going on and uh, between my ex-wife and, and my daughter and stuff, and I just, I just wasn't in the mood after dealing with that. Um, yeah, let's just say she's 14 and... Uh, yeah, we well, I'm not going to go into it. So yeah, that uh, that all that footage is pretty much useless uh, because I just gave up halfway through the trip filming because I just wasn't in the mood anymore. So we're gonna sit out here uh, until I don't know until they get us unloaded, which hopefully, uh, hopefully is only maybe 30, 40 minutes. I only got four pallets I think for these guys, and. Uh, yeah and we'll go from there uh probably probably see me on the road here in a little bit going towards uh port port chester here hopefully well the guy came out after uh sitting in the door there for about two and a half hours and uh gave me my paperwork uh as you can see i'm uh driving right now on the tappan Zee's bridge well technically the uh i guess the Andrew Cuomo or one of the Cuomo bridges. I don't know what you want to call it uh, Cuomo homo bridge whatever it is and uh, Well, we were at a dead stop, but at least we're moving right now uh, It just seems like today is just one of those days where Everything's gonna uh, work against me technically. I only had like a uh, 15 minute well 15 mile ride from this uh, restaurant depot to the next one but apparently it's going to take me 35 minutes because of this so we'll see uh, we'll see how that goes uh, <laughs> it's just it's just one thing after another today so I uh, I highly doubt I'm gonna be delivering to my third stop the restaurant depot there in uh, Mountain Vernon slash Yonkers New York really uh, because uh, it, if I remember correctly, Restaurant Depot usually stops receiving around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's already, what, 12 o'clock right now, midday. And uh, I'm just getting to my second stop now, so that's probably going to be another 4 or 5 hours there. And uh, that'll be it for my day. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to basically lose a day's of pay, uh, you know, running another load. So, uh, yeah, this, this week, uh, this week's a shit week, like usual, uh, just a shit week, like usual. Uh, apparently, apparently, you know, I can't go run down to Henderson or anything. I can't go, what, go out to, where did I go? Ex, Ex, Exeter? Exeter, Indiana or something. Uh, can't go deliver out there. Can't have a 2,000 mile week this week this week it's gotta it's gotta be like a thousand mile week i guess this week was you know uh, whatever it is oh i guess he's a bus i guess he's a bus or i don't know i'm going too damn slow i guess i guess i'm going too slow i guess you know well, i'm doing doing uh doing the speed limit that's why i'm doing the speed limit <laughs> oh well whatever i don't care they can do what they want no, oh, actually, you know what? It's not me because they're just random people just driving up the entire bus lane because I'm looking back about a mile, mile back there and they're driving up the bus lane. So 
I don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I imagine when we get off the bridge here, we'll find that the two left lanes are shut down, and that leaves us, I think, with one, maybe two lanes. I forget what it does here at the end. I, I don't know. Like, here comes another one. Just came around me. I guess he's in a hurry to go nowhere. Like, where the fuck you going? You know? Like, where are you going? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's... Wow, man, he made it far, the guys. Look how far he went. Woo! Jeez, he went freaking far. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. Uh, you know what? To be honest with you, it looks like there's nothing going on. It looks like uh, looks like they got the, the signs up for the, uh, the left two lanes closed and the uh, little X's on the up on the freaking board and there ain't nothing going on there's absolutely nothing going on uh, they even have the speed limit knocked down to 45 so i'm guessing maybe it's because of wind maybe that's why that's the only thing i could think of maybe it's for the the wind today i didn't see anything about no high wind warnings on any of this you know the uh signs or anything but uh that's the only thing i could think of like you see you would imagine it would have said high wind warning right here on this sign but i guess not all right, well, we're gonna we're gonna end up uh, in Port Chester here, and I don't know. We'll see how this uh, shit show goes. So, all right, so I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna put this video together because it's just been an irritating day all day. Um, even if I wasn't late, my day would have been screwed. 100% uh, today. Let me just. Uh, go down uh, the list or the laundry list of, of BS that's uh, that's happened today. So the first stop, even if I would have got there on time, they had two trucks to make up from the day before. They had a truck that came in, it was one of the first deliveries, that apparently had onions but they were full loaded and I guess Restaurant Depot won't take them until they're palletized and uh, the driver the driver wasn't well let's just say he was a foreign driver so he actually went and repalletized the whole 43,000 pound load of uh, onions <laughs> by himself I guess probably probably been there all day I don't know um, so I had to you know I had to wait there. Uh, there there were trucks in front of me and everything so that was like a five five hour wait at that first restaurant depot in Oh, I don't even remember where the heck it was. Um, Belvet, Bel Belvet, Belvet, New York, Belvet, New York. I'm gonna say, and then Port Port Chester. I get there, and there's like I don't know, ten trucks in front of me. Um, you know, the parking lot's full. I barely had anywhere to park. Luckily, as soon as I pulled in, somebody pulled out of their spot to get a door, or I would have had nowhere to park really. So, I was there for about three hours. I called called uh, here up, which is Mount Vernon, the restaurant depot in Mount Vernon, which is pretty much Yonkers. It's like, it's New York City, really, to be honest with you. It's just, uh, you know, it's the other side of the GW Bridge. Yeah, am I right? I don't know, I can't, I don't have the map in front of me. But, um, well, no, no, it's not the other side of the GW Bridge. Oh, yeah, it's the other side of the GW Bridge, but it's not the other side of, um, like, the Throg's Neck and whatnot. So, I don't know. What do you want to call this part of New York? Um, the Peninsula? Anywho, I don't know. I'm just... <laughs> I'm freaking going off topic. Uh, so, yeah, so I called here, uh, Mount Vernon, make sure they would take me, and they will take me, yes. Um... He dismissed that. And the reason they'll take me, I, I think, considering I usually stop at 2 o'clock, uh, 2.30, right around there, is because I get here and there's three trucks in front of me. And uh, they have one dock door working. They have the other three dock doors. They have all pulled apart. They have the one trailer pulled forward over here. And uh, they're repairing dock plates and putting insulation pads up and everything else. So... I just went in and the lady was talking about, you know, them the guys that are unloaded are going to have overtime today or whatnot. So I would imagine, since they're standing around bullshitting when I went in there, 
the guy that's in there right now probably ain't going to be unloaded for another hour. It's 3 p.m. now. Four. Um, I should have checked to see if this guy's name, this guy next to me, the name was on the paper. I don't know if he's here early or not. But um, if he has to get unloaded too, geez, by the time I get into the dock door, it'll be like 6 p.m. maybe, 5 p.m. Um, and I started my day... Uh, about uh, what, 3, 3, 3 15, 3 30, somewhere around there. So I might, I'll probably, I don't know if I'm gonna make it home tonight. And that's that's the fucking hilarious part. Um, I'm only like 160 miles away from Pottsville and I might not make it home. Uh, I sure don't, you know, I guess, I don't know. Worst comes to worst, if I think I'm gonna run out of hours, I guess I'll just park right here and sit here in Mount Vernon. But, you know, I'm losing. I'm losing a day's pay. They're not gonna dispatch me anything uh, because, well, I'm not gonna get out of here anytime soon, so they're not gonna bother dispatching me anything to pick up tonight. And uh, yeah, that's just the freaking way it goes. This week's gonna be a shit week, that's all. Um, I, I got my 34 hour break in. I'll probably, I'll probably get another 34 hour break in for tomorrow when I come back, unless they have a load a midday load, which usually they can't load me midday there at the Pottsville facility. I don't know. I guess they just either don't have enough loads or they just don't, I don't know, timing wise. They don't, um, you know, the way they're uh, scheduled there, they, they can't load another trailer. So looks like tomorrow I'll be taking the day off. And uh, yeah, fun, fun. I mean, I guess it ain't that bad. I didn't hit nothing today, um, even though I've been driving around. Uh, Throw all this bull crap around here. You know, the great northeast uh, driving. Uh, <laughs> knock on wood. Watch. But anywho, uh, I'm going to just, I guess, relax in the back of the bunk and watch a bunch of freaking uh, Facebook reels or YouTube shorts on the, uh, you know, the end of America, I guess, or the stupidity going on. I don't know. It's, it's just it's just depressing anymore. I don't even, like, want to watch, uh, watch the news or even in, even partake in the politics anymore it's just i got enough of my own problems to be uh be concerned about uh and there's nothing i can do to change anything and um you know everyone says vote get out and do stuff i'm just some damn truck driver you know what i mean um uh, i guess that when i when i'll decide to you know take action and do something is when uh you know when uh the civil war number two starts i guess or something other than that there ain't nothing i can do uh as far as i'm concerned and uh you know it is what it is so i'm just gonna go back there in the bunk relax and uh, i guess i'll check back with you guys and see how long today's gonna be i know I'm not, i didn't really vlog today very well i didn't show much i didn't maybe i'll show me driving out of here because i was in a hurry to get over here so i didn't even bother setting up the camera the dash cam to sh show the stupidity i just went through driving um uh, driving into Mount Vernon here. Uh, it's not a, not exactly truck friendly, we'll, we'll put it that way. You can get it done, but it's, you know, it's, it's a little nerve wracking. But, all right, I'm gonna go relax. I'll get back. Here.